Hey everybody, it's KJ Hulk here, making a quick video. Uh, I don't know how many of you know about Trevor Harris. Uh, he just did a video the other day. I'll put a link down here in the uh, running along the bottom here, an annotation and in the uh, underbar. Uh, but he posed a question: uh, What are the top ten best Marvel Legends? Not your favorite Marvel Legends or the Marvel Legends you like the best, or uh, not really that kind of a top ten. The, best Marvel Legends to own as a collector. What are the top ten figures you as a collector think are the best figures, not just because based on the characters, but just the actual figure themselves, the way I understand it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that's the way I understand it, so that's the way I'm going to do it. So they said pick t top ten, start at ten, work your way up, so that's what I plan on to do. So these are, it took me, uh, golly, like four or five days to narrow this down. I mean, the list just goes on and on. It gets really hard because you're, you have attachments to the character over the figure, so you got to figure out why you like the, what makes the figure great other than just besides it's one of your favorite characters. So that's what I tried to do, and this is my honest opinion of the top 10 best Marvel Legends to own for any collector. So we're going to start out with, now I'm using my webcam of course, lighting's going to be a little crappy, the pictures are going to be a little crappy, uh, it's just easier for me to upload using the webcam video so I don't have to use the other camera and convert and yada yada yada. But anyway, uh, I'll put a picture, uh, kind of a recap of pic with some better pictures of each individual figures from 10 all the way up to 1. So anyway, okay, starting off Number 10 for me, awesome figure. This is like the third Marvel Legend that I ever got, that I ever bought, and it's the Series 4 Beast. Super, super articulated, awesome figure. I mean, if you look, oh, Pam, pulling back a little bit, I mean, he's standing on his tiptoes. He, he's not standing flat-footed. That's just an awesome figure. I mean, to me, the three things that make a great, a great figure are posability, Thus, articulation, paint, and sculpt. Those and the those encompass detail. So, the whole thing. This is pretty much a, a great a great figure for that. Um, I can't remember the original points of details. The only point of de the only point of articulation he's missing is a chest. But he has so much other stuff going on that his chest. I mean, he's even got the mouth, fingers, hands, elbows. I mean, this guy can, you know, everybody's seen the stuff you can do with this guy. You know, the handstands, just all kinds of craziness that you can, you can just get some awesome articulated comic book art. Look at that ankle pivot. I mean, you just, this is just an awesome figure. Definitely have to have this in your collection. I mean, and he's so, so cheap, even now. I mean, you know, I remember getting this, the Series 4, it's probably like 8 bucks back in the day at Walmart. You know the paint detailing on here, which again you're not going to be able to see on this. But you know this is not just a flat blue. There, flat blue. There's all kind of little things all going on through here, dark shadings all the way through. Just, uh, I mean, the probably the most simplest part of his paint job is the, uh, you know, the under ruse, <laughs> that super underwear. But other than that, I mean, everything else is just on point. I mean, the mouth, individual teeth, you just can't, just can't beat that. So number ten for me, series four, beast. Now, number nine, I don't know how many people, I think this is a figure that's overlooked just because, and that's the F a Fearsome Foes Rhino. This is just a really, just awesome. Again, articulation's here, the detail is here, the pain is here. The skin is just, I mean, it looks like like rhino skin, like a snake skin, and that's all the way through the figure, and it's got this wash all over it. The articulations here. He's got great tall articulation. He's got the hands to make for a little bit of grabbing. Even his nails. His nails are painted. The face is just awesome. It's an awesome face. And even the rhino face. I mean, they gave him the, the rhino eye on the side. This looks. The reason why this looks just like the Spider-Man, the '90s Spider-Man cartoon. To me, I mean, this is how I remember Rhino, you know, from being a kid in the 90s watching the cartoon. I mean, he's got the articulation, he's got the up and down, he's got the waist, ball joints, double joints, pivot, you know, in an elbow, wrist, it's, he's got everything. His head could afford to go back just a little bit more, but 
there's not a lot of figures that Rhino's gonna, a lot of things Rhino's going to be looking up for, and you can compensate him looking up by changing other ways if he wants to look up at Spider-Man. But really, it's looking down and that horn coming right at you. And the horn, I mean, just the horn alone itself has just great paint detailing. And this is just a, I mean, the face sculpt on this guy is just phenomenal. I mean, big flat nose, grimace grin. Anyway, I think that this is a figure that a lot of people overlook. You know, basically, I think one reason is because he's pretty expensive if you try to get the Fearsome Foes set. But, uh, I mean, he's really dope. So, number nine, Fearsome Foes Rhino. Number eight, Series 1 Iron Man. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this figure. This is how... This is just a great Iron Man. I believe there's a guy in this suit that I like the bulkiness. I like this mold. This underarm joint or whatever you want to call it really makes it come out where you can do, I mean, you can get that great repulsor blast right there, double repulsor blast going on. And the paint on here again, you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, the repulsor is just this great gold. The shading all throughout the yellow. The mask has shading on it. The red. It's just, it's not metallic, but it just has just enough shine on it, enough sheen on it to make it, I mean, even the repulsor in the hand. And this is series one. This is, you know, this is very early on. The articulation's there. You know, not so much of this. Head can't move up and down too good. I mean, you know, it has its, it has its lackings, but, you know, double jointed everything else. And then, you know, of course the mask comes off. And you just, I mean... That's a perfect Tony Stark face. That's just an awesome turn, Tony Stark. You know I mean, and I'd like to have both the variants to it, the, the stealth and the gold. But uh, you know, I can wait on those. But this guy right here, you've got you've got to have this guy in your collection, or you just don't have a collection. So that's number eight, Series One Iron Man. And number seven, for me, is the Face Off Series Hulk. Now this is the variant. The only difference is, of course, is the open mouth versus closed mouth. But this this is the definitive Hulk figure. I've said it before. I'll say it again till somebody else till they make another one. This is the Hulk. He has you know this perfect size, perfect sculpt, perfect paint. Uh, could use a little bit more articulation. You know the hands. There's always run into the problem with the Hulk hands. But this guy is just. This is. I grew up watching the Incredible Hulk TV show in the 80s. And he was my favorite. I had Incredible Hulk pajamas. I used to Hulk out, all that stuff. That's why Hulk is one of my favorite characters. Uh, the TV show is really what got me into it. You know, watching the, watching, I mean, I just used to watch that show like crazy. And all the move, TV movies that they made for it. But the figure, I mean, he's missing the chest articulation, but Hulk doesn't really need the chest articulation. But the ball joint, but what makes up for the lack of articulation, and you know, what makes this a figure to have, is the details. The sculpt is just phenomenal. Veins, the face sculpt, the paint, the paint on the pants, and the pants, you know, they have the tears all down here on the bottom. He has the shade, and these are textured pants. You can, you probably can't hear that, but these are different, different texture than, you know, they're not just the same flat like this. And even this muscle, you know, just muscle definition, and it's just, just an awesome figure. You can't, you can't beat it. He has the right size feet, the right size hands, the, he's the right size in general uh, this is the definitive Hulk I mean if you want to collect if you want to have a Hulk in your collection you gotta get the face off Hulk either one variant plain they're both they're both perfect you know just the mouth open but I've gotta say that's why he is number seven face off Hulk number six staying with the face off is the face off Captain America and yeah he's a reuse of the Series 8 Ultimate Cap, but the paint is, I mean, he's just bomb. He's got this, hear that? The sculpt on this guy is phenomenal. They didn't miss anything. The belt, they decided to keep the belt, which makes for a more modern looking also. The paint on here is perfect. The star is perfect. The head sculpt is just gorgeous. Um, paint wash all through the detail everywhere. The boots are awesome. He, retain, he, he has all the articulation, including the individual finger articulations. And then you see the gloves, these big gloves, oh, just kill it. The belt is awesome, like I said before, and the face is perfect. And you can just get him into such sick, sick poses. I mean, Captain America, the Face-Off series produced some awesome, awesome figures.
So that's number six for me is the face off Captain America. Number five, which was my first Marvel Legend, and that is the Series 5 Colossus. Again, articulation, the right size, the paint, uh, the detail. I mean, he, this the metallic skin that he has is just, I mean, you just can't beat it. The wash all the way through here really gives it that, that oh, the, the steel look, the kind of tarnished steel look, and the face sculpt is perfect. It's got that great amount of shading. The eyes are just... If I can get a good look at the eyes here. The eyes are just these white eyes and just perfect. I mean, you can't beat it. Got the big knee pads, you know, it goes around. This is all, this is like soft rubber. You know, the articulation, yeah, he's, he's got some, uh, he can be loose, but that can be fixed easy. Double joints, foot, the boot, you know, toe, all the articulation that you need, and the sculpt and the detail on it just make him a figure to have. You've got to have a Series 5 Colossus. I mean, the X-Men one, the repaint with the silver, the Astonishing one is cool, but you've got to have the original in your collection. That's what makes Colossus number five for me. Number four, one of the more pricier figures, but he's definitely worth it, and that's the Series 6 Deadpool. I mean, you, God, he just, the accessories alone make him one of the best figures. Then you start factoring in the sculpt and the paint detailing on him. Wow, you just can't beat him. A great face and he's got a good range of motion and you remember this is an interchangeable head it comes with this head there we go get some light off of it this cancer head I like to call it that's just an awesome this is by itself is just perfect you know the the weapons the AKs the swords the size which I don't have any right now I put this handgun in there he's got the other handgun over here the grenades across the front this guy is just I mean he you know, he blows the Hasbro one away. If all you've got is a Hasbro one, you know, I'm glad you've got it. I'm glad they made him for you. But this one right here, you just, you, I mean, he's got all the articulation that you need to put and do whatever you want to do with him. He can, he can, he can be put into some crazy positions. I've uh, used him before in some articulated comic book art, and he just comes out nice. I mean, there's nothing you can't say about him that hasn't been said before. You've got to have him in your collection. He's well worth all the money you can pay for him. So that's why Deadpool is number four for me. So down to the top three. Number three, staying in Series 6, is, of course, the Juggernaut. Another one that just, you missed him out on stores and you got to pay the price for him. If you're trying to get a collection of Marvel Legends going, you better get this guy. Look at these veins. Look at this paint. Look at this sculpt. And this has like like the coppery wash over it. I know it's not going to show, but you can see like some lines going through here. It's all on all these armbands. Oh, it's just I mean it's just perfect. He has this this little joint going on, but it really it really works well for these larger figures. I mean he's just huge. He's perfect size. Look at that. This guy is a beast. I know he's got the gorilla arms. Man, I like a juggernaut being real massive and huge like this. I mean it's just Oh, you can't, I mean, even though it, these big figures have to have single jointed elbows, there's no way they could pull off doubles. They just look funny as hell. And then, of course, the mask removes. And Kane Marco face, man, another one. This guy looks just like the 90s cartoon that we grew up watching. And that's another one of the reasons why I like him. And the veins are just perfect on the arm. Just love it. Massive, bulky. Love big, giant figures. The belt buckle little thing here is awesome. I mean, he even has a fly on these pants. I mean, seriously, come on, a fly. You know, there, there's the oh, this guy's a beast. I mean, if you don't have him, I'm sure you've seen reviews of him and everything. You've just got to. Again, he's just a necessity for the collection. Just an awesome. I mean, this is a lot of people's number one figure. Little details on the helmet, like the scuff marks there, and the paint around the face. You can tell like people have been trying to get at his face and stuff. It's just a. Uh, it's just dope. I mean, you cannot beat this figure. He, that's why he's number three. I mean, Series 6 Juggernaut. Awesome. So for my top two, I step away from individual individual uh, six-inch figures. Pan up here because number two is the Build-A-Figure Giant Man. 
this guy has every bit of detail and articulation that a six inch figure has the shading in the muscle this face sculpt is just I'm not even going to try to it'll do it so much injustice if I try to bring him down here and look at it some it's just phenomenal the articulation love the finger joints chest waist ball jointed hips I like to keep this little clear rubber band around mine because it makes him uh, stand a little better for me but that's just because my giant man has weak ankles listen to that ratcheting sound I mean detail up here detail up here I love this in and out joint at the shoulder the wash all over him is just perfect I mean you can't and then the heads the head just has tons of little wash all through it that make him you know this is I mean this is a giant man that everybody wanted to get and was so glad when he came out and I was I know I was I was really upset whenever I missed him missed that wave I didn't miss the wave but I only got a certain characters that was back when I was only collecting X-Men characters so I had to buy him buy him completed which is really now is the cheaper way to go pay 60 bucks for him 70 bucks for him you know get him complete rather than try to buy all 10 of those figures and track them down but I mean this guy right here giant man you second best second best figure that I own is this giant man second best Marvel legend that I own is this giant man build a figure I mean you can't say anything bad about him there's nothing bad to say about this figure you just you just if you don't have him once you get him in your hands you'll understand why that he's a must-have and one of the best now number one shouldn't be a surprise for anybody who knows me well enough for what my best favorite Marvel legend is I've said it before and it's going to continue to be that until something just comes and blows me out of the water and I don't expect that anytime soon. We'll see what 2012 has in store for us but uh, Hasbro you better have your A-game on because it's going to take a lot to surpass this guy. Build a figure Sentinel. Hands down the best action figure Marvel Legend that I own and will ever own. I have five. I know that's not a lot compared to some but Shardimus Prime just did a, a review on him. Check him out. I'll put a link in here real quick over here on the side. You got to check it out. He has such a great camera and does such a great job with. But this guy right here, the great size, the details. I mean, just you just, oh, you just there's texturing all through everything. Everything has its own individuality. In each part. I mean, it's just you know you got the purple, you've got the blues. They're all steel looking. They've got this dry brushing all over it. The head is perfect. They are, these are rubber so they don't get in the way and they're articulated right there so you can move them out of the way I mean the arms the fingers the detail on the bottom for where the where the boosters are I mean <laughs> this guy is just a great awesome the best in my opinion Marvel Legends is the build a figure sentinel if you don't have one of these I mean you just you just you're just really missing out and I, I would say don't wait around for the Masterpiece uh, Masterworks Sentinel that's supposed to come out this year, the Marvel Universe, just like the Galactus. I mean, it looks cool, but I'm telling you, that Galactus may be, a lot of people may like the Galactus, MU Galactus, better than like the build figure Galactus. But that Sentinel, I've seen it at Comic-Con. I was there, I looked at it through the glass, saw them. It doesn't hold a candle to this figure right here because the paint apps alone this is a work of art this is just you could use this as a statue and have him in one pose for his whole entire life and people would think oh man that is an awesome statue where did you get that from and you say oh wait that's an action figure this guy can move all over the place and do he's got you know the waist he's got the torso mounting to look up the head doesn't move back and forth too much but who does he need to look up for double jointed in and out oh the feet don't move that well but you know he's a huge giant robot he doesn't need the foot articulation but the paint alone, this is the best painted figure for this size. Can you imagine they, you know, this thing come in six pieces? They had to individually paint these six pieces and to keep the consistency same for each one. Just, I mean, it's just awesome. There are slight variations as you see in Chartimus's video, but overall the scheme is the exact same. But you want them to look a little different when you have different ones. But it's just, God, I just can't say enough about this guy. I'm just really really love him. I did a video for a look, uh, LeBlanc 116 contest last year that what your favorite action figure was and it was this one and I'll uh, put a link in the under bar in the description to that video if you want to check it out a little bit better and hear me going goo goo gaga with a hard on for uh, the build figure sentinel 
But that's it. This is my number one. Trevor Trevor Harris. Everybody needs to go to I'll, uh, again. His link will be running across the bottom. The entire video. Check it. Check that video out. If you don't want to make a video response, if you, you just you know leave the voting on the in his comments. Let him know what you think or are. He's I think he said he's going to let it run to like February something, and then make a video of what the top ten for the ML community top ten best Marvel Legends. So anyway, that's mine. Stay tuned for a picture slideshow featuring all of them. And everybody go uh, watch Trevor Harris and sub and comment on that video. Thanks a lot, guys.